Hello, so in this video I'll be going over how to set up uh, Cisco device to send syslogs to a Splunk server. Um, Splunk is a security information event manager. Um, it's one of the uh, most popular uh, scenes out there. Um, and it also has a syslog feature, uh, which is what we'll be setting up for. Um, so the first thing we want to do is go to your firewall. Um, you, can, you can pretty much find this by just going firewall, clicking here and then going to the inbound rule, that's what we're going to be applying to. Uh, so we're going to go inbound rule, we're going to right click the inbound rule, create new rule, then we're going to go to, we're going to set of programs, it's going to be a port because we're going to have to permit UDP 514 uh, into, the, uh, into the server uh, coming from our syslog devices. So it's going to be port, and then it's going to be UDP and 514, now you can always change this, uh, like it's, let's say you want this to be 520 or 1000, whatever you want, um, but you would have to change it on the networking devices as well, or whatever device it is, um, but these are just the default ports. So, um, so we're just going to allow connection, next, we're going to allow it on everything, um, we're just going to name this Splunk, uh, UDP slash, finish. Alright, so that rule is in place. So we're going to minimize out of this. Next we're going to go to our switch. We're going to say logging, um, host, and the server, the Splunk server is 10.0.4.2. So we're going to say logging host 10.0.4.2. And then we're gonna, I'm just going to say logging trap. And so you have the different levels. Um, I'm going to debug because uh, I want everything. So logging trap debugging and then logging on. And now we're going to switch over to the ASA. So we're going to say logging um, host 10. Uh, so for ASAs, it's different because it has the uh, zone. So logging host inside. That's where my um, Splunk server is located. So logging host uh, inside 10.0.4.2. So that's that. And then we're going to go logging enable. And that's that. And then we're going to say logging trap uh, we'll do debugging as well so I'm just gonna write that to the config real quick so that's our networking devices solved do right sorry about that um, so that's those devices solved uh, next we're gonna go to the settings in Splunk and configure the data inputs give that a second to load um, so from here we're gonna go to the UDP and we're gonna press add new And so the port we're going to open, or we're going to allow, is 514. And you don't have to mess with the rest of that stuff. Um, the select source, we're going to do Cisco. And we'll just say Cisco Syslog. And you can mess with this stuff if you want, um, but I tend to just leave it alone. Um, and yeah, so that's the final review. Um, if it looks good, then just press submit. And now we can start searching. So I'm going to press that going to bring us over to here and we see we already have a couple six logs coming in so um, that wraps up the video thanks for watching have a good day